Hi there, boys and girls. Welcome to lesson 2.7, Interpret the Remainder. This means, what do we do with that remainder? Essential question. When solving a division problem, when do you write the remainder as a fraction? Go ahead and turn in your Go Math book to lesson 2.7, and we'll begin. Looking at the first example that's been given, this is just showing you an example that when you divide 140 by 16, you want to know what do you do when you have a remainder. Well, in this situation, it has to deal with time. This boy named Warren spent 140 hours making 16 toy trucks. How many hours did he spend making each truck? Now, we can see it took him 8 hours by showing our division work. However, there were 12 um, left over, 12 hours left over. And because there were 16 trucks and there was 12 hours left over, you could just say that there was 8 hours and 12 sixteenths. Well, that is a fraction. And in this case, you can simplify 12 sixteenths to be 3 fourths because 12 sixteenths is equal to 3 fourths. 12 divided by 4 is 3, 16 divided by 4 is 4. Therefore, it took about 8 and 3 quarters of an hour to make each truck. Well, that's what we're going to do with these questions. We're going to talk about what do you do when you have a remainder? Would you write it as a fraction, like our essential question? Or do you just leave it as a whole? It all depends on the situation. So that's what we'll be talking about today. Let's go ahead and look at our next question. Let's go ahead and move on over to question three. It says on the fifth grade class picnic, 50 students share 75 sandwiches. So 75 is going to be our dividend because that's what you're dividing up. And there are 50 students. How many sandwiches does each student get? Well, let's go ahead and look. We have 75 divided by 50. Now, I know you can't divide up your tens place with 50 groups because there's only seven tens. So we're going to divide up the 75 ones. I know each person can get at least one sandwich. So we're going to go ahead and write one over my ones place. We're going to multiply one times 50 is 50. We're going to subtract and have 25 sandwiches left over. Now, that's my remainder because it's less than my whole. We have one sandwich each with a remainder 25. Now, if you've ever eaten food, you know that people like to divide what's left over. So, therefore, we can write this as a fraction. There's 25 parts or 25 sandwiches out of 50 people. So if you have one whole a piece and 25 fiftieths, I know I can simplify 25 fiftieths. 25 fiftieths can be simplified to one half because 25 is half of 50. Therefore, each student can get one whole sandwich as well as a half a sandwich. So in this case, you would make a fraction for your remainder. So now let's take a look at question four. It says, one plant container holds 14 tomato seedlings. If you have 1,113 seedlings, how many containers do you need to hold all the seedlings? How many containers is what it's asking. And we know one plant container holds 14. So I'm going to go ahead and write my division problem to be 1,113 divided by 14. Let's go ahead and go through our division steps, and then we'll discuss what we do with that remainder. All right, if I have one group of 1,000, I can't put 1,000 in each of my 14 groups. Therefore, we have to look at our hundreds place. I have 11 hundreds. Ooh, I still can't put 100 in each of my groups because there's only 11 hundreds and I have 14 groups. Therefore, we have to go all the way to our tens place, and we're going to write our quotient directly above the tens place. So let's go ahead and divide 111 divided by 14. Now, I want to go ahead and automatically say, I know it cannot be 10 groups of 14, because I know 10 times 14 is 140. That's way too much. And I know it probably wouldn't be 9, because that's still pretty close to 10. Might be 8. Let's go ahead and just try 8, and let's see if that works. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 3 is 11. Oh, that's too many. So let's go ahead and erase that. And we're going to go ahead and move this to 7. Let's go ahead and say 7 groups of 10. 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 2 more is 9. Now that is less than 111, so it does work. All right, let's go ahead and subtract 111 minus 98. 
11 minus 8 is going to be 3. 0 minus 9 can't do it, so we have 10 minus 9 is 1. So there's 13 tens are left over, and so that's lesson 14, so therefore we can go ahead and move on. Now let's go ahead and bring down our three ones. So now we have 133 ones we're going to divide. How many groups of 14 to go, can go into 133? Well, remember how I said 14 times 10 is 140. So I'm going to go ahead and guess 9. And let's check if that works. 9 times 4 is 36. So I'm going to change this to a 3 and drop my 6. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 3 more is 12, so I have 12 tenths. And we're going to subtract, and we will have 7 as my remainder. So here's my remainder is 7. Now our essential question says, how do you interpret that remainder? So if it says one plant container holds 14 tomato seedlings, if you have 1,113 seedlings, how many containers do you need? Well, we're going to need 79 containers total, but there's seven extra seedlings. In this case, we're going to have to get one more container and just stick those seven seedlings inside of it. So therefore, we're going to round up to 80. We're going to make 80 containers because then we'd have enough for all the seedlings to fit inside. 79 will have 14 in each one, but then the last one's going to have 7 inside of it. Therefore, 80 would be how many containers you would need. So this is how we interpreted our remainder this time. We don't make it a fraction because you can't get you can't cut this container in parts. You just get one more container to add to your total. Let's go on to our next question. Okay, let's move over to question five. It says Fiona bought 212 stickers to make a sticker book. If she places 18 stickers on each page, how many pages will her sticker book have? So we know each page can fit 18 stickers. She has a total of 212 stickers, but she wants to share it with 18 stickers per page. I want you to go ahead and pause the video right now and do your division work, and then we'll check together and see if we have the same answer. Press pause now. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off by putting our quotient directly above our tens place. That's where you should have put it because you cannot divide my two groups of 100 into 18 groups. But we can do 21 tens. So I can give each of my groups, twenty. if there's 21 tens, each group will get one ten. So you should have put a one above your tens place. Now our next step is to multiply. One times 18 is 18. Now we're going to subtract 21 minus 18 is going to be 3. Let's check. Is 3 less than 18? Yes, it is. So now we can just bring down and regroup our two ones to have three tens and two ones, which has the value of regrouping of 32 ones. Now we're going to go ahead and divide again. Now if I have 18 and I want to divide 32 stickers among 18, Wow, can I do it twice? Well, I know 18 times 2 is 36, and I only have 32 stickers here, so I can only put one up top, and that's what you should have done. 1 times 18 is 18, and when we subtract, you're going to have 14 left. So now let's interpret our remainder. Let's see what it says. If Fiona bought 212 stickers to make a sticker book, and if she places 18 stickers on each page, how many pages will her sticker book have? She's going to have 11 pages full of 18 stickers, but she's going to have one extra page with 14 stickers on it. So really, how many pages will her sticker book have? She's going to have 12 pages of stickers. 11 of them will have 18 on each page, but one extra page is going to just have 14 stickers on it. I hope this makes sense to you to interpret that remainder. Okay, let's look at question number six. It says Jenny has 220 ounces of cleaning solution that she wants to divide equally among 12 large containers. So 220 should be your dividend. That's what you're dividing up, the ounces, and you're dividing it among 12 containers. Now, the question is asking how much cleaning solution should she put in each container? So you're dividing up the ounces of how much should go into each of the containers. 
we're not trying to figure out how many containers. So because there are ounces, you can actually do fractions with ounces. But let's go ahead and find our quotient first. Let's start out with our hundreds place. I know I only have two of them, and I have 12 containers. So I've got to move on to my tens place. I can divide up 22 tens among 12, but I can only do it once because 12 times 2 is 24, and that would be too many. So you should put a 1 above my tens place. And now we're going to multiply. That's step number 2. 1 times 12 is 12. Now let's subtract to see how many tens we have left over. We have 10 tens. So let's check. Is 10 less than 12? Yes, it is. So we can go ahead and bring down our ones place now. We're going to drop down our zero ones. And altogether, 10 tens with zero ones still has a value of 100 ones because 10 tens equals 100. Now we have 100 ones to work with. I'm going to divide my 100 ones among 12 containers. So 100 divided by 12. I'm going to go ahead and use mental math and I'm going to count I'm going to just go ahead and estimate this to be about 10. Count by tens. 10 times 10 is 100. But remember, I have 12. It's a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and drop it to 9 instead of doing 10 just because that's my estimating. So let's do 9 times 12. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 1 is 9 plus one more is 10. Oh, see, that's too many. So let's go back and let's change that to 8. Okay, now we can divide, and we know 8 will work. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 1 10 is 8 tenths, plus one more is 9 tenths. All right, so now we have 4 left over. Let's check. Is 4 less than 12? Yes, it is. There's nothing left to bring down. So we would say four is the remainder. So now let's look at what the question's asking. How much cleaning solution should she put in each container? If she has 220 ounces and she wants to divide it among 12 large containers, she can put 18 ounces in each container, but she's gonna have four left over. So it's gonna be dividing those four ounces among 12 containers, four twelfths. And I know four twelfths can be simplified to one-third because 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So how many ounces can she put in each container? 18 and one-third ounces. So in this case you did have to make a fraction. Alright so go ahead and turn your page over and I want you to do the question 1 and 2 at the top of the page. Read your questions carefully. Make sure you're answering what the question is asking. All right, and then I want you to go ahead and also do questions three through six as well. Also at the top of this page, please rate yourself as either a novice, apprentice, practitioner, or expert. If you understand, what do you do with that remainder? Remember, we will be practicing more tomorrow in class. And here are your two questions again. Remember, pay close attention to what it's asking so you know how to use that remainder correctly. Have a great night. Bye-bye.